This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when I flatten a model, I sometimes get a 2D smear. How do I avoid this? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. This is just a single subtool that contains a few cylinder primitives that have just been rotated in various directions. Now the question is asking about the flatten functionality. So if I go to the tool palette over here and then go down to the deformation area and open this up, in here there is a flatten slider. Now the flatten functionality or any of the clip functionalities inside of ZBrush is just going to look at the existing model topology and it's just going to reposition the vertices generating a flattening effect. So if I come over here and click and drag on the flatten slider, you're gonna see it's going to start flattening part of this model. Now if I rotate, you're going to notice that some of these areas are now generating this 2D smear or flange effect. So the flatten functionalities and also any of the clip functionalities are just repositioning the vertices of your model. So if I turn on my polyframes and then undo this quick and just apply this to flatten again, you're gonna see it's just repositioning the vertices. So it's just moving those vertices in space to generate that flattening effect. So it's not modifying your topology of your mesh at all. It's just repositioning the vertices. So even if you look at the active point count up here, you can see that it's at 1400. And then after I apply the flatten effect, it is still at 1400. Now, since this is just moving the vertices of your mesh, if you do not have geometry behind the area that is moving, you will get this flange effect. So this is what's happening to this part here. However, it's not happening here because the vertices that are moving can be absorbed into the silhouette of the existing mesh. So if you use any of the flatten functionalities or any of the clip functionalities, this is just how this process is going to work. Now, if you want to get this effect, but you want it to not generate this smear or flange, what you can do is you can use the trim processes. So I'm just gonna undo this here and then just turn off perspective. And to grab a trim brush, I'm just gonna hold down Control and Shift. And then over here in the brush palette, I'm gonna open this up. And in here, I'm going to locate these trim brushes. So the trim brushes are going to perform a cut into the model geometry. They're then going to perform a close holes function, giving you a trim effect. So they are going to modify the topology, allowing you to trim areas of your mesh. So instead of just moving the vertices, like any of the clip brushes here, or any of the flatten functionalities, this is going to modify the topology. So as an example of how a trim brush works, I'm just going to select the trim curve brush here. And after this is selected, you can hold down Control and Shift and it should be the selected brush. So I'm just gonna hold Control and Shift and then just click and drag and this will give me a trim curve line. And you'll notice that there's two sides of this. So you have a shaded side and an unshaded side. Now the side that is shaded will be the part that will be trimmed. So after you draw this out, you can hold down Spacebar and then you can move this around. So I can come and just reposition this like so. And then as you release, this will perform that trim process. Now my active points count has changed, so it's no longer at 1400, it has now been reduced. And if I rotate and zoom in, you'll see that the trim process has gone through and cut the geometry where that trim line was generated, and then it's performed a close hole function. So you can see it has capped all these pieces of geometry here. So it has modified my topology. So if you'd like to flatten areas on your model, instead of using the flatten slider over here or any of the clip brushes, you can use the trim brushes and this will generate the flatten effect but modify your topology. And with this, you can start dragging out all sorts of curves and you can start trimming your meshes like so. So if you're looking for a flatten effect that does not give you that smear or 2D flange, you can just use the trim brush and that will give you this result on your mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.